Here we go. Hello, everyone. My name is Dale Shabijan, CEO of Cape and Plymouth Business Media, and welcome to another 360. Today, we are here with Robin Orbison of the brand newly reopened Cape Space in Mashpee and in Hyannis. Where's my bell for the shameless plug? And Amy Dowd from Coastal Marketing Solutions. Good morning. How are you today? Good. How are you? Good morning, Dale. Good morning, Amy. Good morning. Um, so today's poll question, if I can do this correctly, I'll share my screen for a second, is um, sum up your mornings in a single word. And the options are hectic, relaxed, caffeinated, indecisive, and organized. The top response was a tie between organized and caffeinated. Number two was tied for relaxed and indecisive. And everyone lied when they filled out the result because nobody <laughs> picked hectic. Um, that's the joke of the day. And um, so let's, uh, let's start with uh, Amy, your mornings. Uh, wh how did you respond to this? Clearly, I responded with caffeinated. Okay. <laughs> And how, how That's many, the only way I get organized. <laughs> how many coffees? Is there a line between not enough coffee and too much coffee? In all honesty, I mean, I joke around a lot, but because it is kind of a running joke about marketing people and that we're, we literally run on coffee. Um, but for the most part, I usually have one cup of coffee in the morning, and that's usually it. Um, but on occasion, I'll have a second cup in the afternoon. I used to, I used to drink a lot more coffee. I don't drink as much now. Um, on days when I'm really busy, like today, you know, I run down to Wolfie's, grab myself an iced coffee with a, uh, with the coffee cubes in it. But um, that'll keep you going. That's that's right. And before there was a Cape Space, I used to know where a lot of the coffee places were because I'd meet my potential clients there or, or existing clients there. So um, I remember those days, the, yep. the dark days. So in the oh, summer we have days. Wolfie, and then in 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 West Ends we have Three Fin. Yeah, that's a great spot. North Side, I've got Underground Cafe, Brewster, I've got the Snowy Owl, the Chocolate Sparrow in Orleans. I'm not getting paid by any of these people, by the way. I'm just telling you where they all are. <laughs> Chatham Perk, Chatham, obviously. Old King's Coffee House in West Yarmouth, right on the Hyannis line. Great spot. Yeah. Um, Rendezvous Cafe in Hyannis. Nirvana. So are you, go, are you going to all? So you're going to all these places on a normal basis? Uh, like, so this is—is is this like a, a, a really a cornerstone of your day? It's that's what that's what I'm hearing here. It's actually not, and especially <laughs> not during COVID. But um, True. I haven't been. Other than so Wolfie, you, I haven't been to any of these lately. So um, in, the spirit, in the spirit of helping our audience, um, do you get caffeinated before you kind of line your day up? Is yeah. that, yeah, so you kind of you drink a coffee. I have to wake you, up is what it really boils down to. And that, and, um, and a little bit of trivia, I also never used to drink coffee until I was probably in my third, in my 30s maybe. I went through all through college, all through my 20s, never drank coffee. And mm -hmm. then I find, I got hooked on coffee. And so here I yeah, am. Yeah, once you start, you can't stop. Yeah, um, but it does, it actually seems to help me focus. Agreed. Some people make them really jumpy and, and everything else. Me, it kind of gets me focused down to a, you know, so that I can actually figure out what, you know, what I need to do for the day and, and get myself yeah. moving. Well, you sound like a responsible coffee drinker, uh, not an irresponsible one. So I'm an irresponsible, irresponsible one. And I am irresponsible. I'll drink to the point where I'm agitated. Um, I haven't learned my lesson yet. Um, <laughs> what about you, Robin? What, what are your mornings like? Um, yeah, so um, I was disappointed that grumpy wasn't one of the choices because <laughs> um, I usually wake up and, you know, the first word out of my mouth is probably some sort of an oath. Um, well, let's, like, let's, let's you know, before, uh, before people get the wrong idea about you, let's talk about your morning at work. No, my morning definitely, at work. Were, I've never seen you grumpy, so. <laughs> okay, I'm, I'm grumpy at home. I'm grumpy when I get out of bed. My entire life, I have hated getting out of bed. When I was a little kid, my mother used to have to fight with me to get out of bed for me to go to school. 
I just hated it. It's dark. It's cold. I, you know, so, so it's always, I'm always grumpy when I get up. Um, but yeah, by the time I get to work, um, I, uh, I, I think I would say organized, not because I'm a super organized person, but because I find that I really don't have a choice. I have to take a certain amount of time in the morning to um, just kind of organize and plan my day. I have yeah. tried a number of different systems for that, uh, but I'm currently, <laughs> I'm currently using the sloth system. <laughs> I don't know if anyone has seen this. You can buy them on- Sounds like you need a coffee. Um, no coffee in, in the sloth system. You can buy them on Amazon. It's got, it's called a sloth to-do list. It has like a picture of a sloth um, and it has sort of like, you know, funny names for the different to-do lists, like things to get to eventually. <laughs> it's really fun. But, uh, but it's a nice little, um, it's a nice little notepad that I start one each day and I, I use it to sketch out what I have to get done. Um, and I have a number of um, uh, online systems. So basic, so certainly the calendar, you know, I go to the calendar and make sure everything's there for the day. And uh, I have a couple of spreadsheets where I check, okay, what reservations are coming in today? What move-ins and move-outs do I have to deal with? Um, you know, what things do I have to cover in the staff meeting? So I usually try to spend a good half hour when I first get here to just get that all in place. And if I don't have that half hour, then hectic is the rest of the day, <laughs> yeah. the whole day. I would agree with you. I have, you know, I have like long, medium and long-term things that I'm working on, but I have to, so someone I saw a post, I'm in a social media manager group and they're like, what physical things do you help you in your business? And I put, I have a desk organizer. I have to put everything out of my way and just have my list. And it's like the little like one minute things. Um, so I had this uh, friend, Angie, um, she may or may not be watching this. I think it was a two or three minute rule. If it took less than three minutes, you, you, you just did it, right? And when I went to bed, if I forgot about it, I had to write it down and do it in the morning or it would be hectic. It would, my brain would be like scrambled eggs. Um, so getting everything off my desk and just that one thing, um, super helpful for me. Um, Amy, how do you stay organized or how do you stay not hectic after you're caffeinated? Um, well, I usually try to make a list myself. Um, and I also have, uh, for ongoing different um, things, uh, different pieces, I have a project management um, program that I schedule things in for. Mm -hmm. But I usually make a list. Sometimes I'll do it at night before I go to bed so that I can I can do like a brain dump of things that I, are on my mind so that I can yeah, actually sleep. Um, other times I do it while I'm having my coffee in the morning <laughs> and will say, okay, I need to get this done, this done, this done, and you know, make sure I get those done for the day. And then I'm working on the other items from my project management list that are more of the longer term. Got it. Items. Well, so that's a, a great... Sorry, go ahead, Robin. Sorry, 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 Dale. Um, no, I was going to say there's a book um, that I read uh, a couple of years ago. Um, it has a it has a snooty, fancy French name. Um, but uh, have you has anybody ever heard the term mise en place? Does that mean anything to you? Yeah. Um, well, it's actually. I, I could pretend um, and say, oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, it's um, it comes from cooking. It's a it's a term that chefs use, and it is it is. It basically means everything in its place. And so it comes from the tradition of chefs in a commercial kitchen who have to make sure that everything is lined up for the dinner rush or, you know, it's all going to go to hell, right? Mm -hmm. So you have to have the carrots diced and the onions in the right place and the fryers, wherever. Um, and that's called mise en place. And so there's a book that relates that concept to business. Um, and so it you know, advises this process of, you know, doing your, your knees uh, before you start your day. So I've been trying to follow that. That and is it's great, a great advice. Book. It's a great book and it's a lot of fun if you like to cook also. Huh. I'll have to check that out. Yeah. Well, that's it for today, folks. Uh, thank you once again, and uh, we'll see you next week. Thanks, Dale. All right. Thanks, Dale. Bye, Bye Amy. Great Bye. to see you guys. Bye. Thank you.